Hi everyone, NB just released a circular and this is what it said. The provisional date for NEED PG is 15th June 2025. That's exactly 6 months from the day you're watching this video. And in the 6 months, you can actually make or break your preparation and this video is going to be serving as the video that I would have needed, I would have watched when 6 months were left for my NEED PG examination. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Anuj Pachel and I am an MBBS <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Ramesh Pachel, I'm an MBBS graduate. Um, now actually I am a first year MD Medicine resident at GMC Nagpur and welcome back to the channel. I scored an All India rank of 1307 in NEET PG24 and you can consider me as your NEET PG guide for upcoming exams. So in this video I'll be giving you exactly a stepwise roadmap that you should be following 6 months out of the exam which can actually really really impact your preparation. In 6 months I changed the game of my preparation from taking my score from 62 percentile all the way to 99.5 percentile in the marrow GTs. So it is absolutely possible for you to do the same. In fact even more than me because if you have more room of improvement that means you can score even better. In this video I'm going to be talking about marrow because I have used it throughout. I have completed almost all the question banks, completed all the videos and the division videos and I personally feel like it is one of the best resources out there for preparation of any competitive examination related to the medical field however you can apply this roadmap to any application that you are using and all of the things which i'm saying in the video are my personal opinion terms and conditions applied so yes without any further ado let's start so let's start with the type of student who is somebody who has given a little bit time for their preparation they have given a few gt solved a few question marks here and there watched a few videos how can you take the next six months and utilize it to your full potential and actually get the dream rank and dream branch that you desire so the first step is to actually analyze your preparation and see where you stand one of the most easiest way and something which nobody tells you on how to analyze your preparation even topic wise and subject wise is just open the question bank of that particular subject. Let's say that I feel like I'm weak at anatomy. So I open up the anatomy section and I scroll the question bank of anatomy and within this question bank what I see I see is that some of the question banks I have not solved because I'm very weak at that topic and I know I'm going to get a bad score in it. Secondly I see that some of the question banks which I've solved but I've got a very bad percentile in it. So after scrolling like this for anatomy me, I have got a list of maybe five or six topics. Let's say the development of the heart, uh, maybe the histology of the connective tissue. Then we have the spinal cord anatomy. And lastly, let's say we have the muscles around the hip joint. So these are the four topics which I found out from the anatomy question bank itself, which were either weak or which had a very low percentile. What you have to do is that you have to take a notebook and you have to write it. Okay, subject wise anatomy. And these are the topics that I'm really, really weak at. Now, once you have got this set of topics, you know that when you are studying anatomy, you have to focus a lot on these topics because other topics you know well. And sometimes it might happen that your entire subject is weak. So for me, those were a few subjects that you all know. It was so it was forensic medicine, pharmacology. So the entire subject was weak in itself. So in that place, I don't go and write down the topics itself. I write down, okay, we have to study more on this subject. This is going to give you an area of weak hotspots of things which you're very weak at. And if you improve these weak things, then your score grows up tremendously if you keep on pumping the things which you already know nothing much is going to happen but if you fill up your weak areas that's when you see the maximum improvement in your gts trust me i have been through this entire process and i'm never going to give you any invalid information whatsoever so so subscribe if you're watching me for the first time and if you feel the content is valuable Nextly, I want you to go to the GT tabs and in the GT tab, you can see that which are the subjects which are bad, which are the subjects which are good. So the bottom 5 to 10 subjects which you have, these are the areas where you have to give the maximum improvement because like I said, the more areas that you focus on that you're weak at, the more improvement which you will see. So write down the bottom 5-6 subjects that you have got and see that in that subject, what are the hotspots using the question bank technique which I told you. So that way you have a list of the things which you have to focus on first before the time passes away. So now that you have 6 months in the examination you can actually focus on the weak topics um, and actually cover them in great extent you can also check individual subjects within the gts which will give you an idea of what the trend is are you generally increasing in that subject or are you going up and down is it plateauing is it declining so you know that which subjects you have to focus on lastly make a plan for revision it is very essential that you make your own plan and don't borrow anybody else's plan however soon i'll be releasing a complete video on some of the few guidelines that you should have while making a study plan if you're excited for that video comment down study plan so these 
these are the three steps that you all must take because six months are left and you have to find out your weak spots. The next thing is obviously filling up your weak spots plus also studying the things which you know because if you don't study this, you will forget things a lot. My source for the entirety of my preparation was Marrow. Right from the second year, I've documented every single small, small step that I've watched this video of Marrow. I've completed this question bank of Marrow. So in any case, for me, the main source is Marrow's revision videos during internship. And uh, if you're somebody who is preparing after internship, that is that is one of the most high yield short materials that you can find in the market at the moment. So they have just released the edition eight. And in my blueprint, also in my previous videos, also I have talked about edition 6.5. So in this video, I'll be talking to you about how exactly you can use edition 8 revision videos for your preparation. So let's talk about these revision videos which will be your main source for preparation for the next 6 months. You have to keep in mind that these videos are enough. These notes are enough. Yes, for most of the subjects, for most of the topics, the revision videos and the revision notes are enough. You will going to get most of the questions correct from them. Provided you have a baseline understanding of the subject before you begin and I'm 100% sure after clearing the entirety of MBBS after giving multiple vivas and uh, reading multiple books and giving exams, you definitely have a baseline understanding of every subject. If not, then I think that you are in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> in Rakesh sir's word, go contact the HOD of your department. <laughs> but let me reassure you, you have a baseline knowledge and revision videos You revision videos will help you build up on that and also fixate the mistakes which you're continuously making. My recommendation would be to not take out notes from the revision videos while you're watching them. You focus 100% on the videos itself. Try to learn what the teachers are saying. Try to understand what the mechanism behind whatever they are talking about is and just try to, you know, absorb the information as they are speaking it. If you're trying to make notes, what happens is that after five, six videos, you know, the note taking ability goes down and you are just blindly becoming like a copywriter machine. You don't want to do that. You want to have your high efficiency preserved. So don't take notes when you're watching revision videos for most people. But if you're somebody who only memorizes via the notes, then you can definitely try to think about it. The reason I'm telling you not to take notes is because Marrow revision videos have already got notes. So within the app, you can access the notes. And if you're somebody like me, you will have definitely gotten an email from Marrow saying that you can download these notes onto your devices. So yes, they are downloadable, editable PDFs that you will be getting on your own device. So check out your email ID and you will definitely find an email from Marrow. You download that. You download your notes and put them into your note taking app. Good notes, notability, whatever Flexil, whatever you're using, you download put your notes in that application and within that note taking app you can go and scroll and read after you have done watching the videos in 2x or 1.5x so you're hyper focused during the watching of the videos plus you also have very good excellent notes prepared by marrow itself the reason i'm recommending you to watch revision videos is that because you can cover long subjects in short amount of time provided you have basic information so something like surgery you can cover in like two days three days obgy you can cover in like four or five days so you can divide the revision videos on the basis of your timetable and you can cover good chunks of the topics with the relevant information with the revision videos but there is a certain situation where i don't want you to use the revision videos and the main factor is that when you are very weak at that particular subject or your percentile or score is not going up despite you continue revising that topic from the revision videos or solving the question bank of it so for me that for me those subjects were pharmacology as well as forensic medicine and psychiatry and also dermatology so for these four subjects i was having very weak um, so gt scores consistently and i was not able to get the questions correct even after i had done the revision videos so that is personally for me these subjects might definitely differ from person to person what I want you to do in these subjects is that you go to the main videos and actually filter out and clear your concepts. The wrong concepts are making you take the incorrect option. So in those cases where you feel like your topics, um, the topics are extremely difficult, you are not able to understand or you don't even have a baseline understanding of the subject, please go to the main videos and watch the main videos or read the notes of the main videos to understand the topic in detail. Once you have that understanding, then you can come back to the revision videos to come as a source of revision in a short time. All right, so let me just quickly recap what I've talked about right now. Firstly, I've talked about how do you analyze your performance, the smart way of analyzing. You make a list of the topics which you feel are difficult for you by using the question bank technique. Then you fix your source for the revision. That is the revision videos and the revision video notes. And lastly, I'm going to be talking about how do you apply this knowledge which you have gotten. So this entire knowledge you've gotten, this is you absorbing knowledge. And now we have to apply it using the question bank. So before that, I'm going to give you a short segment on the differences between the revision videos of 6.5 
6.5 versus the revision videos of edition 8. So in my blueprint, I've extensively talked about the revision videos of 6.5 and they are still valid. If you want to, if you want to study from 6.5, you definitely can. There's no problem because most of the material in our medicine world has not changed in the last one year. But I would always recommend you study from the latest edition. So when I was preparing, we had revision videos of edition 6 and 6.5. Now you have 6.5 and 8. So I studied from 6.5. So I expect you to study from 8 even if you have 6.5 available. For most of the cases, it won't make a difference. The main differences in the edition 8 which I have found from my research is that first of all, the faculties have changed. So for two subjects for anatomy as well as microbiology, the faculty have changed. And both of them are very professional, very excellent teachers. Dr. Ashwini Kumar, I'm a huge fan of sir. I also met him when I was in Delhi. There were a lot of topics which I studied from his free videos on YouTube um, and the live classes which he conducts. And now that he is in the revision videos, I think it would be an excellent time to revise anatomy from him. The same with the faculty of microbiology. Sir is also an extremely humble person and they definitely have very concise notes. If you feel like you are good with micro of Shivika ma'am, that is from edition 6.5, you can continue with that. But if you feel like upgrading, you can go to edition 8. The notes of the revision videos will remain same irrespective of who the teacher is. The second change is that in medicine, Dr. Rakesh Nair has given you six modules of integrated medicine in which the questions from different topics and different specialties are combined together, right? So those six modules will help you really tackle those kind of questions which have multiple specialties included in it. So I would highly recommend you go through those six modules. I have personally watched them myself and I felt like they were really, really wonderful. Yes, I know for the research of this video, I did have to watch it. And the last topic which I found was that in OBG, ma'am has provided the mind maps of after the completion of each topic, which is sort of a summary of whatever clinical condition in a single page. So for example, PCOS, fibroids, uh, CA, cervix, all of this in single page so that you are able to revise quickly and revise faster. So these were the main differences. Otherwise, content wise, mostly it is same to same. But of course, I would always recommend you have the updated information based on the latest revision video notes. Three subjects always and always stick to the latest information. Number one is Pharmac. New drugs are coming up. New types of questions are coming up. Secondly, PSM. Again, recent updates is very important and lastly OBG because they keep on changing the guidelines so frequently so for these three things always make sure you have the most updated information now let's move on to the third part of the video where I tell you how do you actually apply this knowledge which you have gained into your real life so that so that my friends is solving the question bank if you solve the marrow question bank completely I can pretty much guarantee you that in your need period examination tumko tension nahi aega. you will definitely not feel a lot of pressure you will feel like the questions are on a similar level. Marrow question bank is like 10 to 20% difficult than the actual questions of NEET PG. But in NEET PG 24 in the evening shift, which I personally gave, <laughs> those questions were very much same. Like I felt like I was giving a marrow question bank only GT. So yes, I would definitely recommend solving the marrow question bank when you are preparing for NEET PG. Anyway, so how do you solve the question bank? I don't want you to solve the question bank haphazardly. I don't want you to solve the question bank in between of your postings. I don't want any of that. I want you to sit down on your desk, open up a notebook. In that notebook, you write down that mistake book and write down the name of the question bank. Let's say anatomy, upper limb, and then you start solving the question bank. Once you are starting to solve the question bank, you notice what are the difficult questions? What are the questions you're not able to understand? What are the silly mistakes you're doing? Which question has a recent need tag? Which, is, which question has got an AIMS tag? You focus on all of this and write down all the questions which you feel are difficult, the explanations of these questions particularly. If you feel like you want to draw diagrams because without the diagrams, the questions are incomplete, you should do that. It's essential. So that's the correct way of solving the questions, not haphazardly. You don't waste the questions, man. Just solve it organizedly. Make a mistake book and read that mistake book over and over again. Now, remember, I told you to put your notes into a note taking app. The reason is because if you feel like you want to integrate your question bank notebook with the notes itself and on that app itself, you can actually start to make your own notes. So this is going to be wonderful. That's how you finish your mistake book and that's how you apply the concepts. So this for the three stages that I want you to take as a roadmap for the next six months for preparation of NEET PG. Again, firstly, analyze. Secondly, fix your source. And lastly, you test yourself using question bank and do it in the correct way and make your own mistake book. If you follow this three step roadmap for the next six months, I can guarantee if you're studying almost six to seven hours high yield study, there is no force on earth that is stopping you from cracking the NEET PG exam provided your efforts are excellent. You are 
achieving high quality study every day you are making sure that you are well hydrated well eaten you have a good diet and you have mental well being toxic logo ke sath hame nahi baithna hame faltu time pass nahi karna we don't have to uh, have any mental burden on ourselves so this is the few things and one more bonus tip i'd like to give is that uh, you've got may i and i ct coming up before your neat pg exam i recommend every student watching this video literally every student just fill the form whenever the form is out and give me i and i ct it will prepare you for neat pg so well um in your examination center as you walk in you notice that for the first time that you're walking let's say that when i gave my i and i ct examination so i noticed that i made so many mistakes during the entire process thoda ghar se nikalne ko late ho gaya tha uske alawa i could not find the exact location um there were some issues with the computer so all of these are the things that you actually get to feel before the actual neat pg exam if you're targeting i and i ct that's well and good but if you're not even though if you're not targeting if you, even if you're zero zero studied for it like me main sirf ek do gts di thi i and i ct ki still i got like a 3500 rank in that so the thing is when you actually give the i and i ct exam it gives you a checklist of the things to avoid and the things which you have to improve on before the neat pg comes up so just fill the form blindly paise de do form bhar do and go to the exam just notice all the mistakes that you make and no matter how well prepared you are you will definitely make some mistakes and you will understand what to do what not to do time management the system the checking and all of that everything so that is the last bonus tip from my side if you found this video useful i have got my neat pg success blueprint which is a culmination of 25 such videos so i have enlisted in exact details on how do you solve the custom modules how do you solve the gts what is the way to you can actually increase your score how to study consistently so it is a complete blueprint for your neat pg success um i'm very happy to say that more than 3500 students have joined it since i launched it i've i've received emails saying that it has saved them 2 to 3 months of their preparation so i would highly recommend for serious aspirants this is your last possible chance to get enrolled into the blueprint and save yourself a lot of time which your competitors are not going to save i can guarantee you that if you follow the blueprint and you put your entire efforts into it a seat will be waiting for you at the end of the counseling so you can use the coupon code champion for 20% off and this coupon code is valid for the new year so grab this opportunity and get the neat pg blueprint which will give you that extra push for your neat pg examination and i really really hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to hit the subscribe button and thank you so much for watching the video and i'll see you in the next one bye